starting young will like boost it into your brain since your brain is still processing everything and now you're just kind of slipping these little things into it like I've been doing CrossFit for five years I bet if I stop for six months don't do like anything I could get back and just start where I left off my name is Shiloh Ellis I was born in Bangor Maine 12 years old live in Massachusetts Anyone I've met that started CrossFit when they were, you know, a young adult to adult, they say the same thing. I wish I started when I was a kid. I wish I started when I was younger. That's what, what Shiloh and that age group of, of, of children embody. What we wish we had started when we were that young. Shiloh got started, um, in, initially it was P90X videos. Um, I was doing those at home and he wanted to do them with me. So he was maybe four at the time and he would be there just doing whatever was on the, the P90X video. The reason why CrossFit has drawn me to it is, I don't know if it's like the name, the workouts, how like majestic they are. I mean, it's like you have every single movement and you just like string together these different stuff and they're short, but, they're, but their work capacity. It's just awesome how like, you can do that and it'll draw people to it. Charlotte, what's the uh, plan for today? I really try not to show up to school late, so. Yeah, tell me about your school. Uh, what's interesting about it? Uh, probably the campus. I mean, we, it's pretty big, but it's nice. We have a wellness center. I mean, they were the first school to ever like have a CrossFit affiliate. And for a school, so that that was pretty interesting. For the motivation for CrossFit, it's actually my own because I just love how it's constantly very high intensity and in its functional movements. I mean, with my weightlifting, sometimes I get bored because it's just snatch one day, clean jerk the other, snatch, clean jerk, snatch, clean jerk. But CrossFit is constantly varied, so you never know what's gonna throw at you. Uh, might be like squats one day, presses another day, and then maybe the next day is like dead bugs. CrossFit for us is a uh, couple of diff different things. It's a course that's uh, required as part of the physical education requirement. Within the requirement, there are several electives, so CrossFit can serve as one of those electives for our high school students. I've known Shiloh for a few years now, and um, he's been part of the CrossFit after school program. Often you don't find that type of motivation in, in, in teenagers in general. I mean, he's a middle schooler, which is just very unique at his age, so. He's just an awesome athlete. He's really dedicated to the sport. He's interested in the sport. He's a student of the sport. And when he comes down here with his busy schedule, um, he kind of picks up the game, the game of everyone else because he's such a good competitor. Uh, people just start, move a little faster and better when he's around because of his, uh, the standards of his movement tend to be pretty good. It's just he's motivated and, and, uh, I, and also I, I bet it helps his, his education. I, I feel that a lot of boys, uh, teenage boys need that release. Uh, they need recess, they need the gym, they need activities and, and CrossFit has been a phenomenal opportunity for the boys. Shiloh's always been, he's been a spiritual kid, he's, um, you know, obviously he, he goes to a Catholic school and he, he was at a Catholic school prior to where he is now, and, but he's always been a, kind of a spiritual kid and he kind of gets it, and, and a caring kid about people. Alright, let's go to my living space. So, I actually have more posters down in my gym, but this rich running one I actually got at Mayhem, and, um, he signed it when I, while I was down there. Still has his original sweat. I actually have a Bible app on my phone. So, Rich Ronings versus Galatians 6.14, which is, which is give all glory to God. Mine is Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I'm not using my own strength to do CrossFit, but it's really God who's doing it out, and I'm thankful for that and how uh, CrossFit has given me this little confidence to do it. Sarah Sigmund's daughter, so, daughter says it's her crib, but I just say it's my dungeon of doom. This is actually like all of my years of CrossFitting. 
That's Rich Froning, Chase Smith. They've all gone to the games. And Spencer Hendel, my close friend. And Matt Frazier. No joke, I had the first signed autograph of him. He was like, I'm not famous though. I'm like, yeah, okay, you might be famous. There he is now, fittest man on earth. Oh, over here, Elijah Muhammad. That workout was funny because we were doing wall balls. So I would be on his shoulders and we would throw the ball up. It would bounce off his head, throw the ball up, bounce off his head. <laughs> so it, it kept uh, bouncing off his head, but the workout was, it was fun. It's really important for the, the youth of not only America, but the world to start viewing exercise, working out as something is positive. That's not a punishment. That's not something we have to do. It's something that we do as human beings. It's, you know, a, a body in motion stays in motion. And we're seeing this pandemic of, of, of essentially chronic disease that's taking out so much of our population, that's crushing our economic system. So for kids like Shiloh and that generation, it's the understanding that exercise and working out is fun, it can work, and it can translate to other things. I think that's the beauty of what CrossFit does, you know, for the kids to the adults, is that it brings a higher purpose to working out. I actually want to be a coach. I mean, I've told a bunch of people this, and they're like, really? You want to be a coach? You don't want to, like, compete in the games, get first. I'm like, if I can compete in the games, get first, that would be awesome. But it's not doing anything for anyone else. It's just showing that, like, I can do this, but that doesn't mean that other people can do it. So he's been training his friends at home. He understands the, the value of it, and this is what he, this is his passion. He doesn't play video games, he doesn't, you know, so there's no Xbox, there's no PlayStation, there's not that, this is what he does. So it's a, it's a wise investment. Uh, he's been coaching friends in our, in our basement, and so it's his ability to kind of be able to, to continue what he wants to do, and, you know, is to be a coach. He wants, you know, that's what he told us, he wants to be a coach, he wants to be on the uh, level one seminar staff. So to us, it made sense to, to invest in that. Being a coach is kind of spreading the awareness of CrossFit and spreading it to other people so they can share it to other people. So when Shiloh first walked through the door, I saw the people looking at him and I think they thought that he was just the child of a participant in the course and eventually when they realized that he was a participant, a couple of people asked me, you know, what he was doing and I just explained his impact on the youth um, from a fitness and health standpoint and it was pretty cool and he did a really good job because he's 12 when he's sitting in this adult seminar um, and the lectures he kind of tried to stay up with but then when we got into the movements he, he was in his, own, his element and he really stood out. So uh, he's, the, he's, he's probably the youngest person I've seen come through a level one. Um, which is really cool because I've seen all walks of life come through level ones as far as, you know, uh, under 17, uh, you know, over 70 years old coming to level one course, which is absolutely amazing. I think it takes a very unique individual to give up the weekend, certainly at 12 years old, to spend it in a lecture environment when all your friends are out playing video games and, you know, watching movies and eating junk food and, and being kids, essentially. And I think when other kids start to see that and they see him excel because of his commitment to fitness and health and because of his commitment to helping other kids because that's what he does, I think they're going to start to click on and want to join him and maybe even they will show up to a level one seminar as well. I don't even remember what I was doing at 12 years old, but I don't think it was sitting in a seminar for two days learning about how to push my knees out and lift my chest up and how to eat meats and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch and no sugar. It's pretty special and I think that he didn't walk in the doors today without any experience. He's been a part of the CrossFit community for years. And that's what makes CrossFit so special, is that it's made an impact on his life and his family's life. For it to be so important to take two days out of his life, for his parents to you know, give him the opportunity to come here, it says a lot about the CrossFit community that allows the level one to happen. For us, you know, here's Shiloh, and he wants to go out into the world and talk about CrossFit. He wants to go out and talk about nutrition. You know, he, he wants to go out there and, and, and fight the big soda battle. He, he loves that, you know, and he gets it and, and he understands it. And, and that's great. I mean, if, if, if that's what he wants to do, I'm going to support that as much as I can.